We bought a house! We bought a house! Before we get carried away talking about house stuff, let me recap our week. Megan's been solo parenting because I've been travelling all over the country. On Saturday, I went to Country to Country Music Festival to see our good friend Jake Morrell playing in his new band, First Time Flies, who were absolutely incredible. The next morning, I was off to Crofts, which is the world's largest dog show, and then in the afternoon, it was the long journey back to Norfolk to spend a few days with my parents. The night before heading back down to London, we decided it was probably best to go to the Stamford area and try and see a few houses, seeing as our house has been sold and we have nowhere to live. So I've arrived into Stamford by train, about an hour and a half from King's Lynn which is where my parents are sort of based. It's so pretty. So many nice old buildings. But Megan should be picking me up any moment. Gonna go grab a coffee and then head off some viewings. Oh, what a rush, what a rush. So I have been solo parenting Rupert for the past four days. Jamie's been away um, with work. But finally, Jamie and I are reunited. We've come straight to Tallington Lakes. It's beautiful, it's so nice. And it's actually really lovely to look around some of the lodges. Surprisingly spacious. It's exciting to see how much potential there is with a little holiday lodge and a little let, but potentially live here in the meantime whilst we find a house in the area. I don't know, there's lots and lots of different things. Here he is. We're off to view a house, which, guys, guys, uh, it's, it's unique. It's quite something. It's quite something. I don't think it's been touched in however many years. You're going to want to see it because I think you're all going to be quite surprised by our choice. Um, but we wanted to see it because it is very different but it's in a fantastic location. Let's get there. Let's go. We arrived at the first house and immediately fell in love with its breathtaking views over Rutland Water. But it's fair to say the house needs improvement. The kitchen and utility room were a lovely shade of brown, but the real piece de resistance was the patterned carpet in the living room. More shades of brown in the curtains and furniture and a fireplace from the 50s. But if you like a bit of pink floral wallpaper, then you'd love the upstairs in this house. Everywhere was pretty much the same story, with lovely shades of pink and brown throughout. The outside, however, was a little more exciting. With potential to convert the garage into an annex or office space, we could really see how you could put some well-needed love back into this property. First house tour done. It's surprisingly in good condition. I know you need to change the interiors quite a lot, but the owners have looked after it. It's dated, but you can change that. But the views over the water, I mean, that is just breathtaking. And all the houses around here are just stunning. So it's, it's definitely got potential. Um, it's exciting though. This is actually the first house we've seen in the area. We've been trying to get up here for so long. But obviously being in London, having Rupert, it's like a five hour round trip for us, five and a half hour round trip. So it has been difficult to get up here, but when we are here, we're just so happy. It's just so nice. Stamford Town Centre, everywhere. It's just lovely. We, um, we do, we already feel at home here. It's just about finding the next place we can call home and just make it our own. Right, let's go and show you around the next house. What a view, Jamie. Where's your garden office gonna go? In that corner there. So this garden um, extends to the first fence that you can see. So it's all of this section and then the section over the wall leading up to the house. A beautiful church spire in the background. A summer house looking over Rutland Water. How beautiful. I can see Rupert running around and joining the local sailing club, rowing club. Hey, you can row again. Oh no. Pull out your Loughborough jersey. No. Get the lycra back on. <laughs> Everyone wants to see Jamie in lycra, mm. right? <laughs> that would be fun though. You met my dad for the first time wearing lycra. I did. <laughs> he saw a lot of you that day. He said he's a big boy. <laughs> <gasps> What's it called? No. You are joking. It's a sign. I can't believe it. That's Guys, I can't believe it. And it's spelt like... No oh. way. That is so weird. I can't believe that. Well, I think that's going to have to stay as a little playroom. You can have your garden office in that corner. I'll have to go, yeah, the other side. Oh, that is so sweet. That's actually made me a bit emotional. <laughs> The little hideouts for Rue didn't stop there, with another potential den found off one of the bedrooms. 
Despite being old, the rest of the house was in decent shape. The bedrooms were lovely, the kitchen had everything you'd need. There was even a gorgeous stone fireplace in the lounge. I get so attached. When I see little things like that, you can't help but feel as though it's meant to be. But um, this house isn't even on the market yet. So we're really, really lucky that the, the estate agents have allowed us to come and view it. It's going on the market, I think, next week. And it's already had about five viewings. I think it's going to be very, com very competitive to even consider this one. But it's beautiful. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think has got the most potential? I think you could move into this one straight away and you wouldn't have to do anything to it immediately. Like you could live in it, no problems. Whereas the other one, you'd probably have to get to work straight away. But we like a challenge. <laughs> Jamie's just found a tennis club and a tri club in the little village of Ketton. And a cricket club. Oh, and a cricket oh, club. Oh, best of all, a bowls club. Bowls, that's your cup of tea, isn't it? So we're just having a little drive around now. We've been through Empingham, we've been through Tinwell, we're, we are now in Ketton, and then we're going to also go to Easton on the Hill, and then we'll make our way back to London via somewhere, a little village called Kingscliff and Bullock and then we'll just carry on going back to London. But so far, it's been a very valuable trip. Yeah. It's rushed. We've only had maybe four hours here in total and we need to get back to London. As I said before, we just, we don't get a chance to spend any time here looking and we have to move out of our house in eight weeks. So we need a plan, Jay, don't we? Mm. We need a plan. Guys, we've bought one. We've bought a house. We've bought a house. And we're following it. We're following it down the motorway right now. There it is. Beep, beep. Wide load coming through. Just kidding. Oh, we're <laughs> such jokers, Jamie. We are on our way back to London. Um, in a bit of a rush because it's, it's saying two hours, 40 minutes, which is much longer than usual. So it's probably traffic and we need to pick up Rupert. Jamie has not seen Rupert in how many days? Since Sunday morning, four days, three, three, Sun four days. You didn't see him, didn't much, see him on much on Saturday, no. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, here it is, go past it. Can you imagine if you were sleeping in there? They didn't wake you up, and then you woke up, looked out your window, and you're on the M25. <laughs> <laughs> but today has been really, really valuable. Yeah. It's been so good to drive around. We ended up going into this teeny tiny little village shop in Edith Weston, and it made me laugh because, you know, we've lived in London for the best part of 10 years. Um, so to go into this tiny village shop where there's like one tin of beans, one tin of chopped tomatoes, one tin of tuna on the shelves, and then once it's gone, it's gone, and then they restock the next day. Um, it's hilarious. I think it is going to be a little bit of a shock to the system. Yeah. It's going to take a bit of time to adjust. Feel. That's why I think we, we need to be close-ish to somewhere a bit more built up. Yeah. Because that village, it, it was really nice. Really lovely. It just, it does feel like you are in the middle of nowhere. The milk there looked like it had been squeezed straight out of the cow, <laughs> straight into those bottles. <laughs> oh, but Local it's, produce. Yeah, I think it's going to be sweet. Um, this is all happening, hopefully, over the next couple months. Stay tuned. stay tuned subscribe to the channel because you can come with us on this crazy journey as we relocate try and work out what we're doing with our life what are we doing with our lives if anyone is sort of in the late teens early 20s watching this channel you think like i probably did when i was that age that 30 year old yeah you'll have your life together by 30 you know people pe your adults i'm sure a adult. lot do well, you know, we don't. But we don't. But it's we all right don't. not to. It's fine, yeah, it's it? fine. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what you, you're doing, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, we don't have a clue. But we'll figure it out. <gasps> well, we've got each other to figure it out. Yeah. Just the two of us. Three of us. When you have a child, you have to figure things out. If you've got no choice. Speaking of children, we are, what, 90 minutes? 90 minutes to getting room. Yeah, for cuddles. Hopefully we're time. not really too late. Reunited! Reunited with my roof. Mm. <laughs> oh, he wants someone else. <laughs> oh. oh, darling. We've just got home and the boys are already playing with their toys. Yeah. What? Uh, no, we don't go near it though, do we? You stay there. Yeah. Again. Again. Yeah. 
It's going to bed now, Rupert. You can't fly the drone all night.